Am I tripping? I'm probably tripping. Am I tripping? I hope I'm tripping. Am I tripping? back in the cut once again so today's video is going to be a how to be confident video you guys because a lot of people i just feel like well a lot of girls they just like i feel like they have a lot of low self-esteem and i just want to build that up and um a lot of people was asking me on my yolo um how are you so confident um what makes you so confident how do you be confident and that so i was just like this would be a good video to do so yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just give y'all some stuff on how to be confident and how to love yourself because loving yourself is one of the keys to being happy. So, yeah. Before we even get into this video, though, make sure you guys follow me on all my social medias. My Instagram is underscore Yasmalisha and my Snapchat is Yasmalisha.1. Also, go follow me on TikTok. My, um, my thing is underscore Yasmalisha. And subscribe to subscribe to my channel baby because you won't regret it at all and that's all period well make sure you like all my videos and yeah let's just get to this video because i don't want to ramble too much okay i thought like the first step into like you know having better confidence or whatever is embracing your flaws or changing it so what i mean by this is like for example so say if like hmm, let's see say if like you felt like you was too skinny right and then he was like oh my gosh i just feel so bony and this and that for example y'all like either i know a lot of people can't gain weight so if you gain some weight like eat, eat a lot and if it doesn't work then embrace it like do you know how many boys like skinny girls like it's not all about the big booties and all this and that like baby a lot of boys do like skinny girls and small and petite you know what i'm saying so, if you feel like that's just like a good example of embracing it or changing your flaws, right? So, I just feel like if you feel a little insecure about that or whatever it is, you can change it or you can embrace it. And that's all pure. The next stuff I feel like is don't be a hater. Like, do you know how many people hate? Like, it's so bad. Like, don't be a hater. You're not going to get nowhere. You're not going to feel better about yourself because you're hating on somebody. Like, a lot of people hate on pretty girls because they're not, you know, they're not like, they don't feel the best about their self, but that's not going to make you feel better, baby. And then if she like, if she got confidence in herself, then it's not going to get to her. So at this point, you're just wasting your time. You just look like a hater, you know? And the thing is, God's not going to bless you or make you feel any more better about yourself by you hating on somebody because you don't feel the best about yourself. You know, like, I don't even understand why people do that. Like, hating is not cute, and what's your point? <laughs> Anyways, that's another thing. Do not be a hater, y'all. Like, it's really lame, and it's just, you look ill. Next thing I want to say is, or well, the next step is, surround yourself around positive people. And I think that's why I have a lot of confidence in myself, is because my family, like, my whole household, we don't hate on nobody we always lift each other up if we got a goal we're gonna help each other get to that goal and all of that like in my whole household we everybody goes up to like i can't explain like nobody just down on people and i feel like if you're around negative people and toxic and all that you are probably gonna feel down about yourself like if somebody be like uh-uh you look fat in that dress or you don't look the best in that dress like sorry y'all somebody had called me so i cut off but <laughs> anyways what i'm saying is if for example like if somebody basically is making you feel bad about something you probably is gonna think it's true especially the people that are the most closest to you but if say the person really didn't think that you look the best in that dress you can say it in a more nicer way you know so if i were you just surround yourself around positive people and it don't even have to be your family you can be your friends like if your friends are like down to you and make you not feel you know the most confident or just relationships like your boyfriend or your girlfriend if they're not making you feel like you top of the top cut them off period and that's just that's just that next thing is know that you're beautiful okay know that you that know that you all that because i feel like to people take confidence 
as in like being cocky or whatever which it can be like being cocky but know that you cute like i feel like when you know it and like you had that mentality like yes i'm i'm that and what when you have that mentality can't nobody tell you that like if somebody tell you that you will you're gonna be like oh you're a headache you tell me you're ugly like can't nobody tell me that i'm ugly because if they do i know that they're headache and they're not on my level and that's the only that's how i think of it i'm not gonna make nobody like make me feel more low on myself baby you just gonna look stupid you know so that's why i'd be like no that's your beautiful so just know that you're beautiful and know that can't nobody tell you different and that's on period have that mentality in your head go to the mirror right now and tell yourself i do think i'm all that in a bag of motherfucking tater chips and that's on that because you want on top of everybody okay okay next up is know your worth and set your standards up this goes kind of on like the knowing that you're beautiful like i People consider me as like, you know, bougie and this and that, but it, no, I'm not like, well, I am bougie, but I'm not like the bad kind of bougie, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just know my worth. I'm not finna let nobody, I'm not finna let nobody think that they, you know, on top of me and this and that. For example, if you're a girl and like, this goes into like relationships. So say if you're a girl, right? And this boy likes you, and you're just so like, oh, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna talk to you, and this and that. Then it's kind of like, girl, you're not saying you're standing silent. Be a little like, you know, get away from me, like, kind of stuff. Like, play hard to get. Don't be so like, yes. Like, you gotta be, you gotta know your worth, okay? If he's not on your level, baby, you gotta know your worth, okay? Or that's just an example, though. I'm not saying like, that's what I mean, but that's just an example of knowing your worth and setting your standards high. You know what I'm saying? So just be a little bougie, you know what I'm saying? But don't be too bougie. Like, don't be the bad kind of bougie, you know what I'm saying? But be a little bougie, okay? That's how you get that little confident kind of like, because you're like, uh, what's up? Like, who are you? Uh, what I'm just saying, that's the bad kind of bougie, y'all think. What I'm saying is just be a little bougie and set your standards high, okay? Okay. Next up, y'all, is make yourself feel cute. Go pamper yourself. Get a mask. Like, make yourself feel pretty, okay? If you like doing your makeup and you want to be a little extra cute, do your makeup, baby. Like, just do cute. If you want to get your nails done, go get your nails done. If you want to just get your toes done, go get your toes done. You know what I'm saying? Just be a, just make yourself feel cute. Go buy you some new clothes, baby. Save up on some money. Buy you some new clothes. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, make yourself feel like you're that make yourself feel cute and i promise you you go you gonna start feeling yourself more you're gonna be like um you know you're just gonna be like you know and what baby because i'm feeling myself and what like you're just gonna be like a little so when you make yourself feel cute you're gonna get your hair done or some or your nails and your toes you just feel cute you know what i'm saying yeah so <laughs> yeah you just gonna make yourself feel cute whatever next thing y'all this thing i want to say is don't compare yourself and i cannot stress this enough do not compare yourself do not compare yourself to nobody i promise you if you compare yourself you're gonna feel you're gonna make you're doing it to yourself you're making yourself feel less confident and less you know less of yourself do not compare yourself at all like it's a lot of pretty girls in this world, but I'm not finna compare myself to them just to make me feel like, oh, I'm not, I'm not the cutest, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm not finna do that. Yeah, she cute, but I'm cute too, so what's up? Like, you know, we can be friends. I'm not finna be like, oh, she look better than me, so I can't be friends with her, you know what I'm saying? No. Zero. Not saying that I feel like anybody look better than me. I'm just playing, but yeah, yeah. I'm not finna do that, or if I feel like, oh, she... She got cuter this than me or she da da da. No, I'm not gonna do that. If you cute and I'm cute, let's be friends and let's stun on everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I look at it. You're not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna be like, oh, she got this or her hair is prettier than mine. Like when you compare yourself, you're just making yourself feel lower of yourself. So do not compare yourself to nobody. And that's all okay. Look on the bright side of things, y'all. Look on the bright side of things. So what I mean is like Say if you feel like your hair is short, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, I just really wish my hair can grow, you know? Like, I just really want my hair to grow. Baby, 
at least you got some hair okay like a lot of people you know some people don't even got hair so you gotta look on the stuff as the brightest side like don't be like oh my gosh i just really wish because like y'all my hair texture i wish i could have better hair texture but i'm not finna like you know be like oh my gosh i hate my hair and this and that no because my hair is beautiful and and that's just that okay <laughs> next thing is never tell anyone your insecurities like i said i cannot stress this enough because baby if you especially if you're not that close to somebody like i could probably tell my sister my insecurities and i know she's not gonna throw it in my face or this and that but if you're not that close like i don't care if that's your friend i don't care if you knew her since you was born baby do not tell anybody your insecurities period because i promise you they will if y'all especially if y'all not on like no best friend type of stuff i promise you they will throw it back in your face and you gonna feel less of yourself i promise you like and it's kind of stupid if you tell anybody because it's just like oh so i know like if we get an argument i know to make her mad now like i know how to make her feel more low of herself you know so just don't tell anybody your insecurities y'all like that's like a big thing do not tell anybody your insecurities because they will throw it back in your face I promise you or they will make you feel lower of yourself or that like they'll be like oh yeah you do kind of have that like you know what i'm saying especially if they're like a secret hater and they're not your real friend like just don't tell nobody your insecurities okay especially if they not especially if they negative all the time and just toxic you know don't tell nobody your insecurities and it's so period last step you guys the last step is so learn how to love yourself baby just learn just learn how to love yourself loving yourself is the key to having confidence love everything about you your flaws everything your insecurities all that baby it's gonna make you feel great about yourself like i may not but like, i know like everybody got insecurities but i'm not gonna tell nobody and i'm not gonna you know down my insecurities because look look at me i'm beautiful right so just learn how to love yourself and have that, like I said, have that mentality in your head that you're beautiful, okay? Have that mentality, be a little bougie, you know? Set your standards high, baby. Set them all the way up here and just love yourself because loving yourself is the key to happiness. And when, you, when you're when you happy, baby, like, it's just kind of like to nothing, okay? So just learn how to love yourself, okay? Learn. Because all these steps is the key into loving yourself. So, well, like I said, learn how to love yourself. Love everything about you. Love your hair, your body, everything. Your lips, your nose, your eyes, all that. Like, just learn how to love yourself, okay? And then, too, don't also... I forgot to add this to my list, but I want to say this. Do not, like, make yourself feel more bad about it. Like, don't always have something negative to say about your flaws or your insecurities. Baby you're beautiful don't like make that like feel like you're ugly okay okay that's all i gotta say but y'all um, that's wrapping up the ending of this video i just want to let y'all know that y'all are beautiful and if you're having insecurities or if you're not feeling the most confident baby you're beautiful and i'm telling you this i don't care if you just i don't care if you be like oh you're just telling me that to make me feel good no baby god didn't god didn't make no ugly creations okay okay very beautiful and don't let nobody tell you different okay okay anyways that's the end of this video you guys make sure you guys hit that subscribe and like button make sure you guys follow me on all my social medias and yeah i hope you guys enjoy make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if there's any more videos that you want to see comment down below bye